Welcome back to Focus Fanatics. In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature introduced in build 14.5.18. This new feature allows establishments using coursing to hold an entire order and fire an entire course with the touch of a button. So there's two ways you can set it up. You can set it up where you have a different button for each course. Or you can set it up with one button that prompts the user for which course they would like to fire. So in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to set it up and then I'll show you how it works in the front of the house. So it is a package. So you want to navigate to order entry packages. And as you saw on the previous screen, I already have those set up. So I'm just going to go down to where they are. And here we go. So all it is is a command called fire course. And then down below you have an option to select which course you'd like it to fire. So if you're using a button for each different course, you'll have to set this up. Obviously, I have this set up down the side here, course one, course two, course three, and the dessert. And if you're going to use the option where you just have one button, go ahead and select fire course as your command, and then you'll want to have this set to none. If it's on course one, then you need to hit the delete key to get it set to none. There's no option for none in here. So I just want to hit the delete key. Go ahead and save that. I'm going to set up by course, the same thing, fire course, and then you just make sure you have your course number or name in here. And you create these names in uh, miscellaneous general, general courses. You can uh, delineate which you'd like each course to be named if you want to. So I have course one, then I have course two. You can see down here. You have to make sure when you're setting up these packages that you don't see the options until you highlight a field because we don't know which field or which option here you want to see for which number. So go ahead and set those up and then I created a hold all button which is just basically select all, hold, clear and then it takes me back to my main dining canvas. Uh, you can set that up if you like. One thing to note when you're setting this up is a lot of people use a send all command and let's see if I can find it here. Or, or a send order command, whatever you name it. But if your command is set up with select all, fire, clear, and then your order access, or however you set this up, if you do select all, fire, it's going to send everything in there. So you don't want to set this up. You might do select all, clear, and just get rid of the fire because you don't want it to send the entire order to the kitchen. So just uh, be careful about that. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. Second thing you need to do is go ahead and put those buttons on your canvas. I already showed you that I put mine on my canvas, so I have these here. And let's go ahead and show you how this works in the front of the house. So go ahead and log in. Pick up a table. We have four guests. Order some beverages. A couple spinach salads. Four mahi-mahis. And then... My desserts, you see that we're set up to automatically assign our courses. If we wanted to change something for some reason, we could just go hit the course review and move them around, but we don't want to do that. And when I'm done with this, I'm just going to use my hold all button. So it's going to place everything on hold, even my Coronas. And now I want to go in and send those Coronas. So I'm going to pick back my table, go back to my screen and go ahead and hit fire course one and you can see that those coronas changed from a uh, little timer meaning that they're on hold to a printer so we go ahead and let's go ahead and fire course two and you'll see my salad switch fire course three and there goes my mahi mahi and then fire my dessert and there goes my dessert so that's how it's used when you have buttons for each one and let's go ahead and open a new table and show you how it works with just the one button. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing. Oops. Let's see, and I'll show you how it works even if I order it in different uh, order on the point of sale. Go ahead and do my whole all button. Pick my table back up. And it didn't matter that these were highlighted, they're just highlighted by default here. 
and go into my daily specials. And if I hit my fire course command, you'll see now it populates my options here. So I just want to go ahead and hit course one and you then see those printers or those timers change to printed. And if I closed out of here, pick that table back up and go ahead and hit fire course. So I can now fire course two. And you can see my even my salad down here could go. Doesn't need to be in order. Fire course three and then fire course four. So those are different options. Um, I think this feature will make using coursing a lot easier and allow the employees to be much more efficient. I hope this new feature benefits both you and your customers. And until next time, stay focused.